because we just moved in last week, everything's in boxes still, but this is our bathroom. And this is our bedroom. And these are spare rooms that but we'll find some people to stay over, I think, some days. Yeah. Don't lose your toy. We got a good pausing system. And that's our house. And a good house to be. Yes, it's got good karma. I think she raised beautiful children here. And then you know what? Your mothers would like to see what kind of books I have. Your mothers. Uh, Anyways, um, a lot. All this is about medicine and stuff. Um, there's encyclopedias for um, natural medicine. There's there's dream books and juicing books and there's vitamin bibles and herbal tonic therapy. Hi. Yeah. Everything you can imagine if you need anything. Herbal treasures. This is a great book if you can learn how to make um, ointments and stuff. I haven't gotten all my books out, but this is just one one stack. See, I named a combo different. And this was my business card because I did that change. That was a big one. Wow, the paint. The painting is beautiful. And it's going to bed. Video artist here. That's gonna be his name. Okay. <laughs> nah, I ain't growing up being no Dawson Creek apparently. <laughs> <laughs> ah. okay. Go ahead, tape the backyard. Okay. Thank you. Hey, and you know what? This is okay. You know what? Your mother, the one mother that's into herbs. Okay, check this out. Amy bought this from from Seattle. This is called Mullen, and it's gonna grow like a weed really, really fast. And I had heard. And I never tried it, but that you can use the leaves as medicine bandages and just wrap them on your wounds. But if you dry the leaves out, you can make um, tea out of it. And what it's really good for is uh, an expectorant. It, it releases like um, like cold and stuff like that. And this one is called Sedalia. And what you do is you wait till it blossoms and you take the, the flower petals off and you soak them in olive oil for three weeks in the sun. And then you can add beeswax to it and you put it in little jars and it's yeah, got a natural yeah. antibiotic and a natural anti-inflammatory. Right if you get a paper cut, yeah, this is all you do is you put this, this ointment on and, and you won't feel it. Within, within three hours you won't feel it. Paper cuts usually last like what a week. That's lavender. And this is red clover. You love this, but the, what, we, what, what I got it for is this flower right here. When, when it flowers, I'm going to take it off, and then, I make, and then you dry it and make teas out of this. And this is a liver tonic, so it cleanses your blood. And then here's another mullein plant. So, and these are going to grow to be really, really big. They grow to be about this big, and you just dry out all the leaves. And then let's go show them the, okay, we'll show them the, the pheasant too. And they're just sleeping in the sun. Here, you want me to, I'll put it down here. They're just sleeping in the sun. Those are baby pheasants. So, and they're going to be raised as pets. Hopefully, though, we can save them. Okay, now I saw this about, I saw this piece on, this is a, a cactus and it's indigenous to here. 
And what you can do is you can actually take these petals off like this, and you can blanch it and get the skin off, and then you just eat the meat on the inside, and it's absolutely delicious. It's kind of like sweetness. I, actually, I got a couple kind of plants that I threw in here for to grow. Tomatoes look really bad. I didn't start this. My tomatoes went through like this. And, um, hmm, but this is our backyard. And this is where we're going to have a really big party. We're having a fundraiser for um, abused women and children next Saturday, and they got to bring everyone's got to bring canned goods. What about the fox though? Do I know how to? I will help you. Oh, you know what? I don't really know anything about that. What's, what's that going on? I'll just get a shot of the garage. Oh, did you did you videotape the ferret? Oh yeah. You can get more deep into detail. Yeah, we'll take them out in a little while. You guys ever play with the ferret? Not really. The ferret's fun. The ferret's fun. Can we take them out? Yeah, I'm going to wait until... Uh, oh, okay. He'll be in all you guys' stuff, so if you want to pick that up off the side. Oh, you want to finish outside? Uh -huh. Yeah. With that, we two things. That's a Got a rim, got a rim, got a rim. Let's take the backyard. Look at all this. And they call it the black. Do you guys want lemonade? 